Hello everyone, this is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In today's training tutorial, I will demonstrate how, how to prepare a digital aligner setup to show the patient a quick demonstration about how their teeth will move from the initial positioning throughout the treatment to their final position. And what's great about this is, of course, it's personal. We see the patient's actual 3D face. We see their actual teeth and a draft of their teeth movement. So this setup could be done free, it could be done quickly while the patient is still in your office. And what's great about this as well is if you're gonna be manufacturing liners in-house, that's a fantastic option. But if you are going to be outsourcing your liner manufacturing, you could take the quick setup that you did, send it to Lab Pronto, click Lab Pronto and Orthodontics for the actual aligner manufacturing. Lab Pronto will take the draft that you prepared, modify it to a clinical digital aligner tooth setup, and after your approval, we'll manufacture the aligners. The pricing for the aligners are $4.99 for the smaller cases and $7.99 for those larger aligner cases. You can see more information about the pricing at prontoaligners.com. Today, face scans can be acquired using a cell phone app, and I'll include some recommended apps in the description below. You can also use some more advanced and dedicated dental technology to do higher quality face scans. They have their advantages as well that the data is merged automatically. But I'll take you through the process flow in Blue Sky Plan of importing the intraoral scans, importing the face scan, merging them, and aligning them together. With recent updates to Blue Sky Plan, the, the process is really clicking next, 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 verifying the data displayed by the software on the screen. If there's any minor modifications that need to be done, then go ahead and do that. And then snapping the teeth to the curve to create a draft of the aligner digital tooth setup. So let's get started and let's go through the process flow. So essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through the orthodontics aligner process flow and we'll be importing the face scan at a later point. So I've selected orthodontics aligners and models. And the reason I suggest to import the face scan as, at a later point is because we could go ahead and import the oral scan, start going through the process, and while that's being done by an assistant or somebody in your office, the face scan for the patient could be acquired and then imported into the Blue Sky Plan case at a later point. So what I'm doing right now is I've navigated on my computer to the location of the relevant STL files. I have the shortcuts going across the top. I held down the Shift key and left click to multi-select and I clicked OK. So now I'm going to be running through the steps quickly, mostly taking the defaults that the software is presenting. I could enter a patient name here so that I have that as well. And then I'm just going to click Continue and Next throughout the process, checking if there's anything that needs to be tweaked. If not, just preparing my digital liner tooth setup. OK, so this is the annotation presented by the software. Everything looks good. Continue with mandible. Everything looks good. We can see the results on the screen and here as well, everything looks okay. We don't need to review everything as carefully as if this was actually a clinical setup because what we're doing is we're going through the steps preparing the draft for the patient to give them a demonstration about how the liners will be working. So here, obviously, we can notice that very quickly and we can take a second and just redraw that, although that wouldn't actually be affecting our case. But let's go ahead and click continue to model trimming. Okay, we could confirm the trim curve. Continue. Confirm the trim curve. Continue. Okay, so now we've gotten to the point of the digital tooth setup. So we have our snap to curve functionality. We've recently updated to include intrusion and extrusion as well in the snap to curve. The simplest and the fastest way to do it is simply to select maxilla, level to curve, snap all teeth, and then mandible, level to opposing teeth, snap all teeth. 
And of course, if necessary, you can take a minute or two if you need to adjust the curve for the snap to curve simply by clicking Edit Curve and make any modifications there. Or if there's any quick modifications to any of the teeth, you could simply go ahead and do that. But again, what we're doing now is we're preparing a quick draft. So there shouldn't be too much tweaking that's necessary or relevant. So once we've done this, we could go ahead and by this point probably the face scan of the patient has been acquired and you could simply go to File, Import Face Scan. So navigate to the location on the computer that now has the face scan. Click the relevant STL or OBG file and then click OK. So what shows up on screen is just a very short mini wizard to mark some dots. We're going to follow the images on the right side of the screen to mark the relevant dots. Holding down the shift key and left clicking first on the model and then on the patient and then one dot on the nose and click next. Here we have the widget to fine tune or confirm the placement so we could just slide the face back and forth or up and down to make sure that it just aligns with the model as it should. We could just take a look at the edges of the teeth there. And once we're happy with the positioning, go ahead and click on next. And finally, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw a curve holding down the shift key and our left mouse button to be able to cut out the patient's existing teeth. So I'm just holding down shift, going around, left clicking, same way we would draw a surgical guide curve or any other curve in Blue Sky Plan. Go back to the starting point, make any modifications or the placements of the dots as necessary, and click Next. Okay, the teeth have been subtracted. We click Next. And here we can see the results. We could toggle on and off IPR and diastemas. We're still at the point where we could click any tooth and make any minor modifications that we want to be making. We could click unlock all teeth to get rid of those little locks that we have right there. And then continue to edit steps. Okay, so we're now at the point where we could show the patient their face scan with the teeth and we could start at their current tooth setup and we could go through step by step showing them how their teeth would move with their line of treatment, demonstrating for them and giving them an idea the benefits of what they're going to get with their line of treatment. So as I mentioned at the beginning, this is a free process. It's a quick process that takes just a few minutes. Most of the digital tooth setup could be done while the patient is having their face scan taken. And once the patient does agree, then simply click Lab Pronto orthodontics to order the aligners if you're not going to be manufacturing them in-house. And Lab Pronto will prepare the clinical digital plan, send it to you for your approval, and once you've approved, it will go to manufacturing. At the prices I demonstrated at the beginning, $4.99 for those smaller cases and $7.99 for the larger aligner cases. And finally, in addition, in addition to the 3D digital tooth setup demonstration that I just reviewed, we also have the ability to take a photo of the patient and either upload it at blueskysmilesimulation.com or better yet, to download the app, you could click a photo of the patient and it takes around a minute using artificial intelligence, will return the photo of the patient with their fixed smile. So that's a 2D simulation that could be done at no cost as well with the click via the app is the best option or uploading the file via blueskysimulation.com.